morning and welcome to First Shift. I'm Ursula Zarelli, standing in for Jennifer Vong this week. Coming up, Honda goes virtual in selling the CRZ. But first, your headlines for this Tuesday, August 24th. Alfa Romeos will likely be sold at Fiat dealerships in the United States, says Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchionne. Marchionne's statement is the strongest indication yet that the two Italian brands will be sold together in the U.S. Fiat is preparing to bring Alfa to the States starting in late 2012. Marchionne also saying Monday it will be difficult for the automaker to make a net profit for the full year. That, despite posting an operating profit in the first two quarters, he said Chrysler is well ahead of its post-bankruptcy turnaround plan. Marchionne's comments came as Vice President Joe Biden visited the Jeep Assembly Plant and Supplier Park in Toledo, Ohio. The Vice President touting the success of the auto industry bailout. Biden said he believes GM's initial public offering will be successful, but wouldn't predict how long it will take to sell the 61% U.S. stake in the automaker. Are they going to be able to sell it all and all at a profit? I don't know what the number will be. But it's a big number. It's a big number. It's a gigantic transition. As Barack said, he and I did not run for president and vice president to be chairman and vice chairman of the General Motors Corporation. The Honda CRZ goes on sale today, and the automaker is taking a whole new approach in marketing its hybrid coupe. A prime example, Honda reaches out to virtual drivers by placing billboards in a Facebook game called Car Town. Bloomberg reports the two-week-old game already has 3.1 million users. The New York Times says that launching the CRZ in the current economy required Honda to rethink everything. The car's ad campaign includes 3D television and theater ads, iPad applications, and a strong online presence on sites like Vimeo.com, Hulu, YouTube, and of course, Facebook. Honda expects to sell 15,000 CRZs in the next year at around $20,000. And finally, a first shift footnote. There's still time for a family road trip this summer, and Consumer Reports names the 10 best vehicles for the job that are under forty grand. The Scion XB, starting at around $18,000, is the least expensive of the group. It's followed by versions of the Subaru Forester, Mazda 5, Nissan Altima, and Volkswagen Jetta, as well as the Toyota Prius, Subaru Outback, Honda Odyssey, Ford Flex, and the Chevrolet Traverse. And that wraps up our show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.